over here checking the snail mail. <laughs> she got over there. Listen, Comcast trying to get me to get. They trying to get you to switch. Yeah, business with them, and uh, uh, they trying to give you that promo rate, huh? Yeah, for one gig of speed, I'm good for twelve months. Yeah. Yeah, yep. and, and then we'll get you back to half a gig after that, and you'll be locked into a two-year contract. Fuck them niggas. But so exactly. we are back. We are recording. Um, peace and salutations. Uh, as you can see, we're back with the uh, split screen, golden eye style recording for the podcast. Um, my name is Mike Beasley. That's Ash. That's Cam. Wait. Now nah, you got it. You got it. You that's got Ash. It. And then that's Cam all the way on the <laughs> other side. Yeah. Um this is episode 34 of BC Zounds Podcast. We do have ourselves a guest with us in the lounge. We're going to bring him up here in a second. Um, young young brother from uh, the DMV. I'm going to let him tell y'all which part. So And then we can have a good old DMV argument about what's the DMV and what not and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we can have that shit too, you know what I mean? And um, this is actually somebody that got some got some accolades, you know what I'm saying, that, that we're going to touch on too, that not a lot of... Uh, I guess you could say up and coming artists have scratched the surface of doing it. So we're going to talk about that and figure out how he made that happen and how he's going to do it in the future. But without a further ado, we got with us Orion. Yay. Hey, thank y'all for having me, man. What's good, you? brother? Definitely Bye. been a friend of the show for, for some time now. You know what I'm saying? Just sure, man. Y'all, I fuck with what y'all doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all good people. And I love to just link with good people. I mean, first and foremost. So we here, we alive and healthy. I can't complain, right? Facts, man. We up, we good. Shout out to Uncle Ron. But let's get let's get right into it, man. Um, I remember we were having a discussion uh earlier this week, and you said that you're kind of late into getting into music. Um, let's talk about that a little bit. What was you doing before music and why did you ultimately make the decision to start making music? Um, shit, man. Before music. I was attempting to go to college. Um, my original passion, bro, was was film. It's funny mm-hmm. enough, it was film at first. Like I'm a big um, I like I love film. I love movies. All the, like I guess since a kid, I was always into music videos. Right? Like my parents would be like, "Boy, what is?" I always had the, the MTV jams on. I always had the goddamn 106 and Park on uh, MTV two. Just just mm-hmm. some shit was always playing. I was always watching that. If it wasn't anime, it was that shit. Um, so after high school, I was trying to get into the television production. Life happened during school. Like, you know what I mean? I did the general ed shit. I was in community college, Northern Virginia Community College. Where the ed stands for knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Their art program is like weak as shit. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do TV production and they had me painting and shit. It was talking <laughs> money. And I was just like, bro. I'm good off that. So I kind of like, I guess I, I'm a kind of flunked out too. I had like academic probation. I just didn't really go back. I was working at Nordstrom at the time. And um, all throughout this time, like even in high school, I would double, I was always a big music head too. Like, just like, I was always into the shit. You feel me? Like, love, like a fan of music. But as far as like rapping, it was only nothing more than like just, I would hit a J, do with all the homies. Russ included. I hit a J and then we kick a little freestyle like in like a shed. You know, somebody put on a little YouTube app, a Wiz Khalifa type beat. And I hit the freestyle. And um over time, and then at a party, I used to throw these parties at my at my daddy's crib where I'm at right now. And we used to throw these big ass bangers and like, you know, after the party, like I will always rap with like a couple other niggas. And for some reason, I don't know, man, like the shit was just kind of clicking. Over time, people were like, yo, like, yo, you, you, like, I would just do the whole joint, you know what I'm saying? At that time, like, the whole beat, and niggas be like, damn. SoundCloud kind of came out at the same time. And I was like, well, damn, there's this new app, SoundCloud. Shit. My boy already had a microphone. He was already like a Facebook rapper. And he's like, hey, bro, shit, why don't we uh get on the SoundCloud shit? We made this song, me and my boy Darius. We made a song called Black and Mild on uh, on SoundCloud, and it did like two thousand plays. And I was like, "Yo, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't thought I had, like made the gold medal." I was like, hey, <laughs> "Niggas," and I sounded good on it. I surprised mm-hmm. myself. It was like an A side Rocky type beat. 
And I'm like, damn, shit. And niggas were like, yo, when's the next one? Did it one more time. And then that's when I was kind of like, all right, hold on. Something's kind of clicking. And at the same time, Russ, my man Rashnik, he moved to VCU. Shout out to Russ. Shout out to Russ. He moved Russ, to Russ? Nah, nah, this this Indian Russ. All right, my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. real Russ, one day. One day we'll, yeah, yeah. You know he, he the real Russ. He, he won't switch him out one day, but. <laughs> At that, while I'm budding with that shit, the sound call shit, like simultaneously, Russ was learning himself and VCU was like, because, you know, he was in the drum line. He was like the head of the drum line in our high really? school. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, he had okay. a percussion. All right. So when he, moved to, when he moved to VCU, you know, you, you know how y'all, you know how the Richmond vibes is. You know, you start finding yourself with the with the art stuff. You start linking with other niggas. And yeah. just, you know, the culture's not up here like that up in Nova. You feel me? Yeah, that's that's a fact. That's a fact. So he started finding him. So he's like, hey, bro, I'm going to start making beats. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I got this little garage band. I got the little MacBook joint. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, and at that point, I was like, well, go ahead, fool. Do that. Send me something. You know, I didn't think nothing of it. I was yeah, like, right, do your thing. Yeah. yeah. Do your thing. Send me something, whatever. I'm already doing my little sound cut. At the time, I was going by Rolling O's or some shit like that. That was my weird ass rap name. And by the third song, I remember Russ like sent me a beat. He like sampled like some James Brown shit, and it sounded kind of good. And I was like, "Damn, bro! Like, shit, keep making those, and you know, let's see what we can do." And we already just students of the game. We love music anyway. So I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, bro, like, we could do some Kanye, Jay Z shit, some Jay Z for real shit, like, you know. I'd rather do beats with him than anybody else because you know I'm paying for these YouTube beats. Mm. And I guess make a long story short, over time it uh we got better at the same time. So I, I and me going to Richmond, he introduced me to Richmond because I was only going out there to visit him and I would start meeting all cool people. And I think that kind of it sparked some shit. I don't know. Shout out to Richmond, but it kind of did spark a little creative spark that I was not getting. From around the way over here, you know what I'm saying? My bad. I'm just rapping. So nah, nah, nah. That's good. That's good. You you, you let you let me kind of to where like I wanted to ask this next question. Um, so before I ask the question, I'm gonna preface it by saying like you're somebody that has had records and had radio playing on like major major stations already up here in the Nova, right? I don't know about I don't know about Richmond or anything like that. I don't I don't think so, but. I know up here you had uh what was the song uh the TTG song right the train to yeah, go I, is that it yeah yeah I ain't gonna cap like it was like maybe like more I think it, it played like maybe once or twice you know yeah, yeah, yeah. But, hey, once or twice is better than than yeah, none yeah. right so, yeah I so and then you had, and then you had like the P90X joint which I that was that was like your first like viral joint right nah oh, TTG TTG was the viral joint, and um, I, I credit P90X being like my first actual attempt at music because TTG, I made downtown Richmond when Russ was living next to the goddamn uh, Christmas Pizza, and it was just still when the shit was still a hobby. When I made that, and then when that really started <clears throat> getting traction, I was like, oh, hold on. Like, it went from me being like a SoundCloud rapper to like, oh, well, let's really try this. And then that's when I actually start spending money on my production and stuff. So that's what P90X was. So if you listen to TTG and the P90X, the sound quality is night and day because I was like, oh, let me go to a real studio and uh, let's pay for album cover. Shout out my man, Lewis. Let's pay for mixing. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I credit the P90X as like my uh, official, yeah, I'm a rapper now type shit. So, so let me ask you this. Do you think any of that would have happened had it not been for Russ going to Richmond and, and introducing or giving himself that spark? Like, do you think you would have been able to, like, accomplish this without him? I don't think so. For the simple fact, like, um, I would have definitely been rapping, but I don't think I would have had the drive. Like, because um, me and Russ, I mean, we you know we homies before the rap shit, but even our friend dynamic. I was always the out of pocket nigga, and he was always the voice of reason in all situations. And even to this day, I mean, he be on my ass. He's almost like a basically like a manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
And I guess when he went to Richmond and, he, and, the, and I started seeing him taking the shit very serious because I'm kind of biased. I mean, I was always nice at rapping. So I'm just like, like I just, you know, whatever, bro. But when I start seeing him like, not nah, like seeing him like really taking this beat shit seriously and does even him like singing and all that, just melodies every day. I'm like, damn. And I would visit like once every two weeks. It made me feel like, damn. I'm, I'm coming here and I show him. He showed me five, 20 beats. I coming up with like one song. And I'm like, oh, damn, I need to show up. Like, you know what I mean? Right, I'm right, coming right. behind it. So watching him taking it seriously made me be like, damn, let me uh, let me apply myself. And then really, yeah. Yeah, so I, I credit him on just helping me apply myself because I uh, – I feel like being in the, I feel like being in the area like like the Nova like or like the DMV in general you there could you could have like a little bit of um complacency and not and not want to take things serious serious up here cuz you don't really necessarily see the uh potential yeah it's not the same. taking of taking it seriously up in this area you know what i mean it's like yeah you could spend $10,000 get get the perfect album and do this that and the third and still fall flat on your face because you're just not in the right area for it. Yeah, mm. especially um, just the overall support of just creatives is non-existent. Well, now it, it, it's becoming a little bit, but at the time, you know, Nova, if you weren't like in IT, wasn't doing no government shit, if you wasn't doing no nine to five shit, what are you doing? Or you're not in school, what are you doing? So even when yeah. I started buttoning up, be like, oh, what are you doing nowadays? I'm like, oh, you know, I make music. It's like, I'm like, okay, but what are you doing nowadays? Like, as opposed to when I would visit, when I go to Richmond, it was more of an embracement. They'd be like, oh, I'm like, I make music. And they're like, oh, well, I paint. Oh, well, yeah, I make a little beats on the side, DJ too. I make clothes. I'm like, I just like that. It gave me the vibe of like when I would go to other like cities out of town, out of town. But I'm like, wow, this kind of vibe is here only an hour and a half away. That was, that was cool for me. You know what I'm saying? Because even DC at the time, the DMV music scene, or the, you know what I'm saying? I can't really speak for DC per se, but like the, but like in Maryland and even it over, bro. I mean, the only niggas who was really rapping at that time was Wiley, Black Cobain, goddamn, uh, Trail and shit. Like, you feel me? Like, it, I mean, there wasn't really a lot of street rappers or nothing. Like, like, the scene was nothing for real, for real. Yeah, it's a lot different nowadays. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. It's definitely a lot different. Yeah, it was like, yeah, if it wasn't like Black Cobain or or Fat Trail or Slutty Boys or some shit yeah, like that, man. it wasn't really getting no attention like that. No, but no, I think I think I think niggas be having a little bit more room to breathe up here. I saw this. Uh, I saw this Indian nigga. Um, they was calling son Northwest Nav. Did you see him yet? I did see him. The man. Indian cat from DC. Like, yo, the song yeah, was fire. Man. Son. It was cool. It and I was hate fire. And I was like, yo, I was like, as much as I want to hate on this nigga, What's I can't. Name? This is hard. It's I don't weird, remember. Bro. I'm only gonna call him Northwest Nev. That's it. Yeah, I'm some weird shit. That shit, wow. Nah, but yo, just search that shit on Twitter, Northwest Nav. You're gonna find a video, bro. I'm telling it's you. It's like a bubbly, it's a nav bubbly ass. Yeah. But let's all right, so let's let's fast forward a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, you just recently you just recently put out the cyberpunk jump, and yeah. me, I'm one of the people that I'm one of the people that have been swearing up and down had it not been for Corona. This jump, this project would be a getting a lot more attention, and b so would you. How do you feel yeah. about that? I agree, bro. I mean, I, I definitely agree. I mean, it's something that you couldn't plan, um, couldn't plan this ever. I mean, I feel like nobody could ever plan this. Um, I think because I think with music and the way that we ingest music, yeah, you you yeah you ingest it solo, but I feel like another half of it is you have to be outside in it. Mm. And live with it. Like you gotta live with your music. And I think the corona kind of hindered people from living with the music. So you not might it might hit a little bit different. Like uh like the drummy joint that's on my shit, you know, it's like a little rhythm, it's like a little kind of Caribbean vibes. That's not that's that's gonna hit different in your headphones than it will like outside drunk off a of goddamn like little drink. And, you know, shorty twerking on you like it's going. That's going to hit different. You going to appreciate. See, I was waiting to see what your drink of choice was. I was waiting to hear that. <laughs> he said, "Drunk off a little." He was, he was. He was. You sound like you was at the liquor store just now. Right, 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 right. Oh. 
but yeah, it also put a, a pause on like the whole way we was finna roll out stuff because I mean, and at the same time, Russ just moved to LA. I know you know people say don't move to LA, yeah, but Russ was already we were already kind of. Y'all niggas about to go to Cali, weren't you? Russ moved there. He moved it yeah. literally a week later. He's on lockdown, so everything happened to him out there. It was it was happening to us two weeks later. So he's like, bro. I can't even, uh, bro. Like I went to the club once. He went my man Joe. You know, good people's Joe. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, him yeah. and Joe was making a little bit. You know, there was, you know, he's gonna get the job at Good People's LA or something like right, that. Right, right, right. He yeah. couldn't even really mingle with nobody to even get his clientele up because right, exactly, and exactly. Then, and when it shut down, mm. he, uh, the cyberpunk just dropped like a week ago, and I'm like. Fuck, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, fuck, does that mean VA's gonna get like that? I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Yo, so, yo, was there ever, did you ever consider, like, just pulling it? Like, just pulling it off the internet when all that shit was happening? And just like, yo, let's save it? Was that ever a discussion? Only reason why that wasn't a discussion, because we seen how, like, a lot of my catalog does. Mm -hmm. Um, Since I don't really, I'm not that, I'm not as popular, like, the song will be more popular than me. I've seen like the way my catalog is right now, a lot of the older songs gain traction like after like two fucking years. It's the weirdest shit. Yeah. So like P90X just did like, P90X been off for like four years, three, four years now. That shit just not hitting a million in 2020. You know what I'm saying? So it's the type of thing like, I didn't want to pull it, just for the simple fact to just get that, that, that slow organic build. Mm. And um, at the very least, if it didn't do nothing, it would be good on my back pad- my back catalog. So when I do pop, the back catalog, it just all goes up. like it, And it just happens all the time. Like, um, so I didn't pull it um, just for that simple fact. Some people would have, but uh, I was like, man, niggas need to hear some shit from me. And I was itching to drop a debut. Nah, you have it. Nah, that's what I was saying. Like, nah, because I, I had, I remember, like, you had been talking about that joint for a while, and for a say, long time, and you were like, yeah, this is the, this about to be the joint, this about to be the joint, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you put it out, you're like, yo, you're actually one of the few people, like, local niggas that I've ever heard like really promote something and it live up to actually what you was promote, like what you, how you was promoting. <laughs> very, very, yo, very often do niggas like fall flat. When it comes yeah. to ex- building expectation and delivering yeah. on set expectation, nah, I salute you, bro. Big ups, like that, you solid for sure. Look, I'm like, look, look, I come from a place like I'm like you with it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I talk too much shit for me not to like <laughs> not to work. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not talking nigga, like I talk. Word, word. I be doing too much for me to even look stupid. So I'm like. And when I was, and I knew people was thinking that things like, oh, this here, this nigga go with this. I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, like, look, <laughs> I'm gonna drop this shit. It's gonna be like at the very least, you don't have to like me or nothing, but you can't cap like it's a good, it's it's high quality. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't like every, you might not like my pop shit or whatever, but you're gonna find a little something that you could tap your foot to at the very least. And there's no capping that shit. Like, you know, I feel like, like hey. I feel like I had heard because I I feel like I had heard something that y'all was working on like a little bit before you put it out. Like, cause right, but I think it was before Russ had went to LA. Cause I went and checked him in the studio one time, yeah. and uh, he was he was just playing me a couple of different nigga shit. And I think we, I think I heard like a little snippet or something. And I was just like, at first, I was like, okay, I was like, that's what he doing, but cause I I have no I have no real like uh, context. <laughs> that's to really who you are as an artist. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, at right, the right. time, so I'm like, I'm like, yeah, all right, we'll see. You know. Yeah. But it worked. But now it worked. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, salute. Like, to you and Russ, man. Y'all niggas put together a real dope project, bro. For I sure. It, man. For sure. Yeah. But what about, like, so let me ask you this. So, going forward, right, are you going to try to continue to piggyback off of, off the cyberpunk joint once Corona's done and all that shit? Or are you going to come out with, with all new shit? And you're just gonna say, hey, that was the moment. Now we on some some other shit. Yeah, that's the thing that um that like even me and Ken been talking about. We've been having like combos about um Ken, you ugly. Hey, shout out to Ken. Ken just nodding in agreement, you know. <laughs> shout out to Ken, man. But um good work. Yeah, but um 
I think it's gonna have to be a hybrid of a little bit of both. It's definitely um, new shit, but at the same time, since so many people and so many ears have not even heard this shit yet, um, it's gonna be a little bit of both. Like I might, you know, I'm doing all new shit, but I might just throw in like, cause I, I, I'm not gonna lie, like I loaf by not putting out enough videos for that shit. So do one for Diablo. Hey, but you, you know, know what's you know what's kind of crazy though. Now that you not, now that you saying that, not putting no videos out, it's low key kind of a good thing. But I mean, depending on just how you want to spin it, because I mean, like when you first started promoting it, I was like, oh, this nigga's like trying to do something like themed with like the cyberpunk video game. I was like, that could be cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't know at the time. But yeah, now yeah. considering like what a fucking fiasco that video game has been and how because they're talking about aren't they talking about relaunching the shit or something like that? Like they ain't even all the way done yet. I, I you never. I got I, I got know. a lot of I got a lot of information on that, but another time. No, we, yeah, we're off air. We're off. We're <laughs> yeah, yeah, we 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 need we need the yeah we need the. Yeah. Nah, who knows? I mean, yeah, fuck it. Just say you could you could do something. You could do something just off of like the chaos that the video game release has been, yeah. and turn that into some kind of like visual for your album. I think oh, that could go well sure. if them niggas don't try. And it's not like they can sue you. I mean, like them niggas already dealing with enough legally, so. Yeah, yeah. It's fact. not like it's really no, nah, nah, I'm just a joke. Don't say it's that. a joke. It's a joke. Okay, all right. Not <laughs> war. Bro, did they just aren't they getting hit with a class action? Yeah. From, oh, customers. Saying, so. From customers. Yeah. Customers. Oh. Yeah. Niggas want, they, niggas want they sixty dollars back, bro. Yeah, right. Basically. That's how I felt about 2K last night. But oh man. Nah, but yo, man, this is episode 34 of V Sounds Podcast, man. We got Ryan here, man. Thank you for coming through, man, and being such a, uh, you've been such a, not, I don't want to say talkative guest, but you've been a forthcoming guest. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> like, yeah, this nigga came on the show and talked too damn much. No. No, no, that's not, that's not what I mean by that. Okay. No, I, I mean, no, no, no. I mean in the sense of like, you have, we've had people come on the show and it's like, it's like pulling teeth to get them to answer questions. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I asked this nigga two questions. It's been 20 minutes. <laughs> nah, it's, that's good, but they, come on. That's good. How, that's what I'm saying. That's good. Yeah, we know how old give it up. We be on the chatty house. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Talk about everything. Probably, the clubhouse shit kind of prepped <laughs> me for this. You know what I'm saying? That was the... That shit crazy. Hey, can I ask you? Can I ask you? This is the last question I'm going to ask you about your artistic career, and then we're going to move on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Has clubhouse benefited you as an artist at all? Have you been able to do any networking on, on the clubhouse? To be honest? Yeah, um, be honest. Be totally honest. Give it up, give it up. Or is that is that something that you even seek to or care to do on that kind of? Yeah. When I first had the joint, yes. But when I start seeing how shit was kind of after the third little pitch the record shit, and I'm just like, I was like, oh, yeah, this shit crap. Before music mode, yeah. hey, nah, you gave up before music mode though. You can plug in there. Uh, I'm over no. it. Now. Like, it's, like, it's, it's nonsense. Bro, that shit right. was. Too, I was in this little Toronto creative room. Some shorty pinged me in that jump. Don't know why. You know jump. why, nigga. Huh? You know why. But look, I was pinging you better, that You better get your passport, nigga. You know why. Listen, I was pinging in that joint. <laughs> what was cool about that shit, I was listening. It was a lot of trash, but I was like, huh. These Toronto niggas is just really trying to catch up with the, the states. Trip. And I was just like, and they crying about the same shit that these little rooms be crying about the unity. Everybody, shit. everybody cries about the same it. issue. Everybody cries about it. I don't know why anybody yeah. thinks. Hey, guess what? Hey, you know what? I can tell you right place. now. It's probably a club. It's probably a clubhouse room right now with LA creatives. How do we come together as LA creatives? Like, okay, everybody, <laughs> it everywhere. Dog. I'm telling you, like everybody does it. Everybody. Does. It makes me it's sick. It's but so it because they was talking about some Montreal versus Toronto. I was just confused. Oh, wow, that's a beef. Wow. I was like, I ain't even, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm ignorant with that. I'm like, oh, right. hey, whatever. Like, you know, they were like, hey, Montreal's different because we got the French with the dun and T dot, y'all copying the UK sound. I was like, oh, it was interesting hearing that, like, oh, like, oh they came with the, the drill. It was the drill topic was coming up in that shit. Okay. It was like a lot of drill clashes. Like, they were like, y'all sounding like UK drill and, uh, if I ain't like that, I'm like, y'all goofy in here just to, just to sound like American, stupid, right. just to right. make the breakout hit be an American ass sound. So, I'm but like, you know, that's because it needs to be, but that'd be the funny part. That'd be the funny part about like places like Toronto and, and London and shit because it's like, yo, it'd be a lot of uh West Indian influence and Caribbean influence in these places. 
Yeah. So it could be it's it's very easy to see why y'all would emulate one another because it's like yo my cousin lives in London and this is what they're doing now yeah. so I'm gonna bring it back to Toronto and oh well guess what my my cousin lives in Brooklyn too he's coming for Carabana so I'm gonna let him know what we doing over here blah 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 so nigga at the end of the day at the end of the day y'all all just copying niggas bro <laughs> and y'all main guy is copying all American you may actor so. yeah so we not gonna, we not gonna say his name because if you say his name the ovio cam pops out that's right and now we gotta talk about toronto for 30 more minutes and i'm not trying to do that this episode of 34 this <laughs> podcast you know what i am trying to talk about my favorite my favorite condiment mayonnaise mayonnaise i like to throw i like to throw it at walls i like to throw it at people um, I don't eat it. I don't put it on any kind of sandwiches of any kind. No spread. Oh, you're too Not deep. even a thin layer. Nah. So you eating dry sandwiches? I would yeah. rather eat a dry sandwich than than eat mayonnaise. I would rather eat two pieces of bread together with nothing on it than than eat mayonnaise at all. Yeah, I would have to kick you from this room. Shit, bro. I can bro. understand not liking mayonnaise. I know a few people who don't, but like. To just have a super like no mustard even you just gonna have a dry ass sandwich like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even spicy meal, like a little chipotle with it. You know what I'm saying? Like a little honey Dijon. Right. Nothing. The aioli shit. You nah, guys, no, no, you aioli guys, is mayonnaise. That's fancy mayonnaise. You guys kill me, and this guy wants to eat dry sandwiches. I didn't say I wanted to eat dry sandwiches. He likes eating dry sandwiches. I said it was totally. I said it's totally on the table. If this, all right. So let's just say you put you put some condiments down in front of me, and the only one is mayonnaise. I'm not putting that shit on a fucking sandwich. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat the cold cuts dry. Yes, and cold <laughs> ass turkey meat. Dry ass turkey meat. Yo, speaking of, of speaking of dry ass turkey meat, man, did y'all see all these niggas storming the Capitol? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, were y'all watching like in real time, or did y'all like just catch the highlights and shit? Nah, I, I watched in real time for okay. like 20, real time. 20, 30 minutes, and then so I let me had ask you. So let me ask you, what were your like? How were you feeling emotionally when you were watching all of that? I was emotionless. <laughs> shout, shout to Jim Jones. Really? Just Another Jim Jones. Shout out. I, I looked at it. I said, "Look at him. Look at yeah. him. Legit. Yeah. Look at I was him. more. I was more emotional to like." Other black people saying like, "Yo, we gotta go up to the Capitol." Like, "Yo, bro, sit your ass down, bro. Why? It's not yeah. about you. Yeah, like, chill out. Let go? them do that." Yeah, they've been I'm telling you since, since Vietnam, stop fighting the white man's fight. Hey, hey. Y'all want to go to the Capitol because just to prove a point that you get shot at. <laughs> Come, on, nigga. Come on, nigga, give me a break, bro. I was waiting for shots. I was bracing myself to see some wild shit on live TV. That's what I was bracing my. I was like. Yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. okay, we might, I we feel like premium TV that I you can't like, really catch. I, I, th- I thought of, I thought it was gonna get like that. Once yeah. the sun went down, I was like, it's about to get real spooky outside. That sun kept going down. I kept turning back on CNN, like, yeah, here we go. All right, the night watch came out. Yeah, you know, you know what I thought when I was watching that John? I was like, damn, this, this is a country music concert. <laughs> he was watching CMTV. I didn't. I didn't feel. I didn't feel like. Oh my God! This is so devastating to our democracy. And and, yeah. and how is America ever going to recover from this black eye that is the the insurgency of the capital? And nah, they, they, <laughs> they let them in and was taking selfies with these niggas. Yeah, like essentially. That's yeah. where my whole surprise was. I was just really like. It's like you're surprised, but you're not surprised because it's like, okay, they're white, of course. They just letting them do whatever the fuck they want to do, right? But a party is surprised because it's like, damn, y'all really ain't shot a single motherfucker that broke up in there? Like, y'all taking selfies and shit? Oh, like, well, let you. Well, somebody, 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 uh, uh, yeah, a yeah, the lady, the three, it, the lady it, it clapped and she lost her whole life. Yeah, uh, I did um, see, I did see the lady. I did. Yeah, see that, that happened. Out of all that the happened. people that ran in there, you gonna sure. tell me like one or two? Well, 
Well, let's well, let's think about it. Yeah, after let's the 360 no scope, you didn't need to do nothing no more. Well, let's, got let's, nobody got missed. Like I'm expecting to see some. Oh now, my man had a no look pass. <laughs> nah, but, yeah. check, but, but 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 check this out, right? My my th- my thoughts on that was is this, right? Mm. The pe- the Capitol Police, the security at the Capitol, whatever what have you, they probably are already resigned to the fact that hey, we're gonna have to take this barricade inside to where all of the representatives all the people that work in the building are at we need to make sure that they are protected the building itself it's a building you know what i mean it's fine it's whatever we'll get the niggas to clean it up the next day as they did Mm -hmm. but the the way that the reason why that like i felt like once you once you once you once you don't like uh, form like a, a barrier to letting these people in, at that point you just gotta fall back into the building and protect the yeah and protect the one little main main piece. Yeah, and I think that that's where that was that was how Shorty ended up getting killed because she was trying to crawl over into the main piece and the nuclear. Yep, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Everybody yeah. else they was like, "Yo, do what y'all want. Take as many pictures as you like. It's perfect. It's cool." I laid it right. Oh yeah, go pop at the hotel. You good? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Nigga go to Ronald Reagan. Guess what happened? No flawless, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's the best part right there. Niggas get, niggas get off the plane, getting back to Sioux Falls, Idaho and shit. And guess who there? The, the, the Idaho field office of the FBI waiting to get your ass, nigga. That, that was the funniest part. part. That, that, that shit was great. Part. That shit was great. <laughs> it was like, oh, you thought. You thought. You thought you could just do that? You just going to go in Nancy Pelosi office, take her mail? Right. Follow up question: Do you think anything's actually going to happen to these people? Minimum jail time a year. No, I don't think anyone's going. Mad, to jail. mad probation. I think, okay. yeah. I, I think, I think, really, like if you ended up catching the charge out there and you have a record, you might be yeah. fucked. You might be yeah. fucked. Yeah. But if it's like a lot of like first time offenders and shit, I think a lot of these people are going to get off with. Oh, uh, so apologize, apologize, do a public apology, and you'll get uh, fucking. Probation for like four years. Some shit. I'm not mm-hmm. even expecting a public apology at this point. I think it'll it's just it'll just simply be some probation, maybe like a week of jail time, nothing crazy. So, but at the same time, I could see I could see a scenario where this nigga Joe Biden gets into office, and as a way to smooth tensions and smooth the relations, that he would just automatically grant clemency to all these fucking people. I could see that happening. Nah, 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 nah. I, nah. I can see, I can what, see that happening. What needs to happen is Kamala, you gotta go up there, you gotta call <laughs> seven of them hall jail sentences. Like off you the rip. Yeah, yep. just off the rip. Like, yo, you came in there, you got the podium 30 years. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, come on, Kamala. Yeah, 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 you did I it. I mean, there were people in there that I saw that I recently posted, like reposted on my story on Instagram, but like nigga from the Olympics was in that bitch, and I was like, oh, Ryan, why, why, son. Why you're a professional swimmer. Why are you in here? Yo, it, was, yo, it was mad like it was mad like elected officials in that yeah. crowd, crowds and shit like that. It yeah. was a lot of shit. Was wild. Wild. Like you do know niggas gonna know you, right? Like we can see your face. Don't be That's surprised right. if you seen like some of your high school teachers in that job. Like <laughs> your dentist. You know they had no mask. Like, so that's how cocky they was with it. Yes. No yeah. mask at all. <laughs> Yo, yo, what, they brought the third wave to DC pretty you much. Wanna, you want to know what's, what's crazy about that? This is the pe- perfect setup for you to cover your face and do crime, and you choose not to do any of that. Awesome. <laughs> like, I was in the bank and I had a mask when I was like, I can't even believe that this is happening right now. Like, I should be fucking police should be surrounding me right now. Bro. And yo, and let's be and let's be real about this shit, bro. If they really wanted to make a big spe- spectacle about like arresting all these people and charging them with some federal crime, they could because all these niggas was on the Capitol with their cell phones out. Yeah, they know. You know, you know every single person that was there. Yeah, they, they, them, yeah. the Capitol building has its own cell tower. Okay, they, yeah. they pinged all of those phones. I they said the one. They said the one nigga, the Viking, the Viking nigga. The nigga, uh, he was dying in jail because he ain't getting no organics. <laughs> well, oh well. How you, how you, no, my yo, that shit funny as hell to me. Like, how you gonna, how you gonna lead the revolution? Are you vegan? But you can't eat, but you can't drink some jail milk. <laughs> right. Out of here, nigga. You pussy. They not, bu- they not built like that, bro. How you gonna, how you gonna, how you gonna lead a revolution when you're using onions to, to induce tears 
because nobody nobody tear gas you and you want to lie. Come on, what are we doing here, man? They're not built like that, really. They're not, though. They're not. Like, go back to playing squash and shit like that, man. Like, y'all not. Squash. Nah, yo, bro. Out of man. Yo, so, yo, it's a little, yo, and it's a little bit more mayonnaise mania, man. This is off topic, but yo, did y'all happen to catch um the girl that was Greek, Italian, and Puerto Rican getting interviewed by Gail King because she tackled the 14 black boy for she accused him of stealing her cell phone yes. when that joint was in the Uber the whole time? Yes. And so what yes. happened? I, I don't. I'm not. Familiar. Nothing's gonna happen. She, there, there was a whole. She went on. She went on Gail King with her attorney. And proceeded to proceeded to display some of that uh some of that good old ranch sass. She told Gail yeah. King to stop talking, and when she did that, <laughs> like Gail, yeah, like yo, this not even your show, sure. Oh, like, oh no, oh no, no that's my ass. <laughs> yo, even, like, yo, even the lawyer was like, yo, I think I might have fucked up by letting you do this. <laughs> She yo, told her to stop talking. Yo, because if it's yo, because I'm gonna tell you right now, yo, Shorty, like Shorty was really like on that joint, like barking and boasting as if nothing was gonna come of this. Right. And what I will tell you, what I will tell you, had you not done that, you'd have been good, love. But now, but now you on national television sticking your tongue out at the NYPD. They're gonna come get your ass. Trust me. Mike, you know why she did it though, right? Everybody wants clout. She looking at her like, I mean, look what happened when you. Oh, yeah, good for her TikTok. I know. She went on a meme moment, a meme viral moment that even after she do that jail time or whatever she do, Atlantic Records or or whatever. Like, hey, we're gonna give you. Hey, uh, we're gonna give you living the life of a, a fake POC bitch like the the series. We're gonna let you. It's gonna be on Quibi. Like we're gonna give you one season. You know what I'm saying? Not it's Zeus. Gonna it's gonna be on Quibi, not Zeus. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to, she trying to get the little bad baby catching me outside shit going on. Like all these buzz, all these are like, clickable bait, clickable. Uh, sure, you're like, 25. Like that part of your life is over. <laughs> just pop right, on like, Just pop on her one time. She wanted the popular shit. You, you I, could think the dad, I think the dad did. She was the fishing for the popular pop moment. moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Cause she, bro, it's like she's ta she tackled the nigga's son. She tackled his son, but yeah. you know what? She chill. I don't know how she felt comfortable as fuck doing that. Yeah. But try Out of town woman. too. Try a black woman. I I would love for her to do some shit like Ooh, that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Good question. Now let me Excuse ask this. Me, how you, you think? Don't. He's you a gentleman. Think? A man may not hit. Maybe he learned from his dad, like, bro, walk away. Anything you do mm. is going to be bad because you're a black man, period. Right, you right, know what right. I mean? I can totally right. understand how he did not react to her. Um, yeah, imagine if he did. But tackle my ass. Let's go. Yeah. Let's no, go. but let me let me ask you this, Ash. Do you think that Shirley would have even had the had the gusto to do that? Had the, oh. had the son had the son been with his mother instead of his father? No, nah, probably not. I don't even think it would have got that far. You know, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think the mother would have been dragging her before she even got close to the kid, if you Absolutely. ask me. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You did what? Yeah. You think my son has what? The moms be ready to sure. go. You got to understand something. You got to understand something. People crazy, but they not stupid. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> she crazy. She not stupid. If it would have been the other way, she'd have just been like, nah, he got that phone or whatever. Did he have the phone? No, he didn't have no. it. Was it, was it, was it, was it was no. no. Oh, okay. She took to the ho back to the hotel. It was in an Uber. Oh, well, yeah. then I misspoke. I an Uber that brought her the phone back like 20 minutes after all of this transpired. Apparently, this is her second time accusing someone, though, in a hotel of having her phone. Like, girl, like, oh, shit. like get you know this is your girls in your get pockets. I got it. No, nah. get pockets. No, nah, that's a y'all never got no pockets on your pants. That's that's like, a, it's, it's Everyone has an iPhone, and you think I have yours because you also have an iPhone? How right. stupid do you have to be? Like, it's 2020, guys, like, it really really like, 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 nobody needs to take your iPhone. Like, can I, yeah, <laughs> can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Are we choosing violence this year? Mm. Hmm. Before depends. I, before I, say, before I, I think I think it depends, but go ahead. Logical, because I, I don't want to listen. I don't want to tell people to start popping on this girl, but like, but if we choose a violence, then I'm going to advocate for that. <laughs> yeah. 
Pop on. I understand. We're still. I mean, I'm the, We're not like. I'm the host of the show, so I technically I can't agree with that, but. <laughs> I'm a starting I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, so, you know. I, feel I, like gotta, I gotta be in the middle. So I just I didn't know if this is what we was doing. If it was we chose the violence or no. Uh, yeah, I, I'm for that. I'm for that. Some days I'm gonna I'm choosing violence. Because these niggas walking around here too long. Even the white folks you walking around years, here. Your four years, yo, check this out. Your four years is up, scrap. Yeah. <laughs> they was too yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, y'all out of here, bro. <laughs> your four years is up, bro. <laughs> we choose a violence now. We let y'all all lives matter it up for four years, man. Y'all hey, out of here. Y'all walking around too too sized up and too riled up and shit. Like I'm like, no, no, no. Violence. You know who chose violence too? Who? Meek Mill, man. He chose violence against against Bitcoin, man. What happened? Man? <laughs> Yo, we might gotta get Samson back on the line, man. Samson gonna have to explain this to us, man. What happened? So. How so does he- how does Meek Mill tell niggas to go invest in Bitcoin and then that don't drop like 20% the next day? What happened, man? So do you think that it was bad because he was too early on telling people to go get it? Nah, I think I think it was completely like... Uh, early? Was, hey. nah, what's the word? Because if think it, it dropped was... again, that would have been the time to get it. You get it when it's low. Right. Well, yeah, no, you don't no, I just not think... get it at all. Like, it's Bitcoin. I, I have Bitcoin. Like, you need to right. get it. <laughs> so. well, no, I, I just think... I, I think I, I'm just being... I'm making jokes. I think it's all coincidental. Mm. That Meek said that because Meek's not a finance guru. Nobody's really looking at him for for money <laughs> advice. We're not like we're not. I'm Udo. That's the scary thing. That's the scary thing about it. Yo, people do. Hey. That's why Clubhouse is what it is. Every day, yes. I go on there uh-huh. and they're like, "We well, should buy some ETFs." Yeah. And nobody work at Wall Street. <laughs> nobody. Nobody got no credential. They just telling people to buy stuff. I mean, well, I that's Bitcoin you need to go the... look at their credentials because some people do day trade and do that shit their for a living. This is gonna take me to their Instagram. Yeah, you know, like look at my dog, and I'm like, that's not day trading. <laughs> uh, but Mike, the scary thing <laughs> is, niggas look for rappers for like all info sometimes, and I'm like, stop, let them be the rappers, bruh. You don't mm. got like I could say the same with Jay Z sometimes, like when some niggas. Jay Z would tell a nigga to save money. Like you won't listen to your mommy and daddy to save money, but then Jay say you know on the four 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 shit. Now you gotta save it. Nigga, I gotta save. I gotta buy land. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, why you this is not, this is nothing new. Like water is wet, nigga. Yeah, it does. Like you know what I'm saying. But like if if a rapper is teaching you some shit that you should already knew, bro, you already in my eyes, you already and you're not a kid. Yeah, you, you already you already lost a little bit, man. Yeah, niggas, so, in the weed, yeah. niggas in the weed spot, like, yeah, you know, me saying get Bitcoin and shit. You know, I've, I've been on that, but but yeah, yeah, he just, he yes, just, just confirmed it for me. I just bought Bitcoin for the first time ever. I don't know where it's at. I bought like $10. I don't know. I don't know how to act right now. Right, so <laughs> so I right now. Let's look at over here. I said them and Tesla. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, I have those kinds of plays, mm-hmm. yeah, and I'm good. I just never did big one. Yeah. yeah. Bro, they say the trick no is, what I'm getting to. They say the yeah. trick is get the little little the the the, the, the cryptos that are, are not popular, but they're mm-hmm. only like like a fragment of a penny joints that keep going up and down all crazy. Oh, like right. Once you buy like hundred joints, say if you bought a hundred joints for like point something, something, something of a penny. If that crypt that specific crypto hits a dollar one day. It's like penny stocks, bro. I got the Doge coin. I got 300. Yeah, well, yeah. I got that. Yeah. It's the Dodge coin. It's the Dodge coin. Not the Doge coin. It's, 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 he got the Doge coin. Wait, hold on. It's Dodge coin? Yes, it's Dodge coin. No, I've been saying it's wrong this whole time. Hold on. You got that Doge joint? Yeah, you know I got $800 worth of the Doge coin. Like, who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? Who yeah, you know how many people I've been talking to, they probably look at me like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Facts. The nigga's like, yeah, I got the, I, cool. I ain't investing in this shit. Nigga, right. can, can you pronounce it? Nah, but nah, I think that, I, I mean, I, I think it, I think it's cool that, I think it's, it's cool, dope. like, everyone's like, huh? It's Doge, nigga, there's no All right, all right whatever, nigga. All right, cool. <laughs> Ooh, my, bad. You. my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead, go. You're the, you're the same nigga that said walking is control falling, and you were right about yeah. that. So, <laughs> my bad. My you bad. did, you did. My bad. Wait, what? I just walking is controlled falling. It's a it's a it's Beastie's Lounge fact. 
Don't challenge. Don't challenge. Don't challenge. Don't challenge. Don't challenge. Yeah, you can't challenge it. it don't it's, challenge. it's science, actually. Because <laughs> no, these, I mean, these two try to challenge it. Back to the Bitcoins and like the stocks and all that shit, man. I think it's I think it's great that everybody's like getting so um involved in like their personal finances and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I do wonder. I do wonder what like the larger con is here. Yeah. Down the line. Yeah, like, what is the large con that all y'all Wall Street niggas are doing by like introducing apps like Robin Hoods and and allowing us to invest on Cash App and shit like that? Like, what are y'all setting us up for? They're taking a little off the top. Y'all setting us up to fuck us? Is that what's happening? Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what I see coming. Yeah, but they're I don't take, know. They're taking a little off the top, and eventually the dollar is not going to be worth a fucking dime. And we back to square one. Now yeah. we're in Mad Max days. Mm hmm. Yeah, where, where they just gotta go to Gas Town, and I don't yeah. even want to be conspiracy Negro about it, but you know, too late. Too, <laughs> fucking late, too fucking late, too yeah. fucking late. We already yeah. here, brother. Yeah. We already yeah. here. Yeah. Instantly, God, we already here. And that's it. You gotta keep yeah. that ready. Yeah, conspiracy uh, Negro yeah. happens. Oh, man, it's, I'm a little, I'm a little leery about it. I'm a little leery, about as it. you should be. Right. Well, crypto period right. to me because it's all an idea, basically, right? All right, all right. I mean, but so the, it doesn't exist. I mean, but technically, right. some it's the, not a tangible thing. I mean, right. but so is the dollar, though. Huh? The dollar is nothing tangible. more than a piece of paper, bro. Yeah, but That's it's tangible. tangible. It's tangible. Yeah, I can bro. hold dollars in my hand. At the but, very least. Bro. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sure. How many Dogecoins you held in your hand? Dogecoin. <laughs> Bitcoins you held in your hand. I haven't seen a person pull out Bitcoin at any point. Like yo, you got change for this? And not even at the ball. Yeah. Like yo, 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 rounds on me. And he throw out one do, uh, one Bitcoin. I bet like, oh, he got money over there. That's like weird. nah, nigga, those are light coins. We don't take these here, nigga. Fuck out. Y'all remember here. when niggas was using the Bitcoin like real, like back in the two thousand the, the Bitcoin ATMs. Bro, remember like when like I first got introduced to Bitcoin off some like uh, we buying weed on the the tour browser and the fucking Silk Road shit like. Niggas would throw in 300 to their mans and he'll cop like a couple bitcoins and then we was getting in the shrooms. Da, 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 da. Yes. And I didn't think nothing of it. Yes. Like, yeah, well, nigga, I need that. Know, well, well, see, that's the that's what's that's what's getting so that's what's getting so tricky about these cryptocurrencies, right? Is the fact that they are intended to be just that currency. They're not intended to be like tradable assets like stocks and shit. So it's very like that's why that's why these niggas, um, that's why them XRP niggas got sued. The dudes okay. that do the Ripple coin or whatever, they just got sued because it's still by the SEC because they're like, which one are you? Mm. What are you? You know what I mean? It's very, it's still very murky as to what these things are. But let me ask you this, Mike. I say that to say this, man. Get your okay. Bitcoin now before the government says you can't get any and it just becomes nothing. Yo, get it and get your bread up and get the Bitcoin, fuck out. Bitcoin, shit. Yeah. Bitcoin is on one computer in the south of France somewhere. You know that? Conspiracy Negro. I know that it was. Yeah, it was created by like some random nigga in his basement that was like playing Call of Duty and shit. Yeah, I thought it was like an Asian nigga though who made it. Like Conspiracy Negro. <laughs> they ain't never gonna tell you the identity of the nigga. Like they, they yeah, probably right. killed cut whoever that is. Right. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're the only person that knows how to create these. I right, bet. There's <laughs> a fat guy named John that lives in Iowa. Shout out to John in Iowa. But um, yo, let's let's get into it, man. We get a little we get a little close to wrapping up. So since we're not a sports podcast, we're gonna dedicate a little bit. We're gonna dedicate a little bit to sports, a little bit. And the only reason why I want to do this is because it's super important because it involves Brooklyn, which is very important to me and Cam's life. So, <laughs> well, y'all and, and it also and it also has to do with the New York Knickerbockers, which we are both uh, fans of. Yes. James Harden's coming to Brooklyn, guys. It's official. Um, well, I think he still has to pass the physical, but we'll see. He might pull Albert Hainsworth on y'all niggas. We don't know yet, but he's got it. He's got it. He's coming to Brooklyn. He's going to be playing with KD and Kyrie. Man, and, he's going to be playing with KD and DeAndre Jordan. And who else? DeAndre Jordan, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. How are we feeling about this, guys? Are they like automatically in the in the uh, NBA Finals? Uh, I'm not worried. They're gonna lose, huh? I'm not worried, and they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose to LeBron. 
But so you're saying they're gonna be in the finals? Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go, but then they're gonna get swept up. But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Maybe four two. Maybe I'm being who's Batman and who's Rodman and who's Alfred? Let's get into it. Good question. Because Batman, let's get into it. This is why this is why Alfred gets put up because <laughs> it's to be said that we don't know when we're gonna see Kyrie Irving come back. You think Kyrie's Alfred? Who? Fuck he don't want to play right he's now. He's, he's the one saging, and he's the one saging the arena. Okay, so he's Alfred to you. To me? Yeah. Right now? No, no, no. He no. fat suit James Harden right this second? Yes, he's Alfred. Okay. The nigga don't want to. He don't want to hoop. When did you ever see Alfred put on a bat suit? Fair enough. I mean, he has in the comic, but. Yeah, yeah, wait. I, I start getting my nerve back. Yeah, no, Alfred, 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 Alfred did get busy a couple times. That's, that's fair. Nice shit, right. And Alfred used to be special forces, so they, Alfred is low key a hill nigga. Bro. But, but, <laughs> but, 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 this nigga Kyrie, Kyrie has no interest in playing. He's on his Colin Kaepernick shit. And I, was just, I was just about to say that. I'm like, he giving me Kaepernick, he's giving Kaepernick uh, energy face head. I mean, more power to him. More power to him. You know what I mean? You can hit on that. Do you think that do you think that he should do what Stephen A said and like just completely step aside altogether and retire? If your heart's not in it, yeah, just leave then, bro. Because because then you're wasting people's time. You're wasting your own time and you're wasting your teammates' time, you're wasting the organization's time, you're wasting fans' time. Just leave, bro. It's all right. Nobody's gonna be mad if you don't feel like playing ball no more. Nobody was mad when Andrew Luck stood up and was like, Yeah, I'm done. He just bounced. Just bounced in the middle of the night, like I'm done playing. But I don't know, man. It, I don't think he should quit. Well, that's what I'm I don't. I don't think he should be told that he has to retire, though. I don't think niggas who not in this how to, to retire. That's what blows me. Like but I think a lot of that. I think a lot of that. I think a lot of that. That smoke from Stephen A. came from the fact that he's a mm-hmm. basketball player who never made it. Thank and you. so I think he could see like a nigga like Kyrie Irving that has gotten everything that most basketball players wish for when they're trying to go pro and everything like that. And he's kind of not um, as grateful for it as he should. I guess it could be seen that way. That's exactly what it is, bro. Well, I can't speak to that. I feel like that's like, exactly what it is. Really? I don't, I don't think Kyrie is Alfred, to circle back to your point. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kevin Durant yeah. is Alfred. I don't agree with that either, but why? I, I, could, I could see that. Because Kevin could, Durant yeah. is subdued enough to hit Kevin Durant will fall into a role. The only reason why I say that is because he fell into a role at Golden State. Without tripping either. Yeah, he just fell and he just fell back. Right. Kyrie and James Harden, two ball dominant players, they're gonna need the rock. That's if they all three of them play, right? They're gonna they need to command the rock. He doesn't really need to command the rock. So and based off of those two egos, he'll just fall back. I get I mean, your life. And then, and then, what does look like, though? Like, what does that look like? Their offense for your plan. Let's just say, all right, let's just say for shits and giggles, Kyrie Irving, he, he comes back and uh, everything's all hunky dory, right? Uh, what does that what does that team even look like on the court? Like, what does that really they, look like? They're gonna be they're gonna be a high powered offense, and that's it. And that's they're not gonna have right. no defense. They just yeah. gave away Jared Allen, which was stupid. So now you have old ass DeAndre Jordan there. Right. You don't got I mean, nothing. You had, you had to. You had to give you. Know, yeah, you had to, but it was a stupid trade. You traded away everything, Brooklyn Nets, nigga. Trade away the future. Trade exactly. away the future of the exactly. franchise, low key. That's what I was about to say. The humble. This better so, fucking work. It, it better work. It has to work within the next two to three years. No, it has to work. No, bro, no, no, nigga. It has to work this year. Nah, if they no don't go to the, bro, if they don't go to the finals this year, it's a bust. B, bees. It's historic. No team that has come together in the fashion like this has won their first year out. Yeah, they I didn't say goal. one. I didn't say win. I said they had to get there. They got to go so to the dance. They had to get there. Yes, I didn't say they had to. That's win. That's what you want. You oh, so moral victories. Is this is what we? No, 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 no. If I do, if I do, no, listen, like no, that, listen, I listen, 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 listen. You can you. It can it can still be said that just because you didn't win the championship that you had more more or less a relatively successful season, right? You can, it can be said when your team overachieves that you had a successful season, right? To have 
KD, Kyrie, and James Harding on the same squad, them niggas have to at least get to the finals. Anything less than that is a failure. You want me to counter that whole point? Do you want a cookie? Who That's gives a, a fuck that question. you came? I, but who gives a fuck if they came in second place? I would be pissed you did all of that to come in second place, bro. Win or that's it. The, the option is win. You need to bring a title here. Okay, but and, you think it needs to be that doesn't make any fucking sense. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense because winning 20 games and losing in the in the NBA finals is two different things. Nigga, what are you talking about? Win. What are you talking about? Nigga? I just I just made a big three in Brooklyn. I would want to win. If I was if I was that organization, I want to win. I can't settle for the second oh. three spot. That's the goal, too. I mean, that's all right, all right. And you're, and you're saying, and you're saying, and you're saying that, you're saying that, that and you're giving, gonna, and you're you know, giving what, the, you're what you're trying to tell me is that that's gonna it's gonna be proof fruitful in two to three years. No, nigga. If I'm trading for y'all three niggas, I want it right now. Is what I'm telling you. You're not gonna it's get not it right now. You're not gonna get it right now. So that's why I say two to three years. I can see it in two. That's to a three failure, years. bro. In two to three years, that's a fucking failure. I feel like not necessarily that's a failure in two to three years. Give me a break, nigga. Go ahead. Oh, Three is pushing it. I can see two. What are we I talking about right now? In the Eastern Conference? But, yeah. It's like you, it's you already you, have right? the mentality of you the, want them the to win. Like like you said, they have the big three. Your mentality is you want them to win. So why wouldn't it be able to be done this year if that's the case? Because it does not work. It, not, it has not worked like that. Historically, it has not worked. If they do that this year and they win, it they will be so working. They traded all. They traded four fucking first round picks. Well, you know what? They traded away that whole two to three years. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Hopefully it works for them. I don't Can think I it won't. I don't think it will. Go ahead. I'll back. Can I ask you one question? Mm -hmm. Who would y'all – well, here's the first part of it. Do y'all think that James Harden is worth all that shit to be – Hell no. 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 Hell no. Really and my second question, who? what player would be worth that? No, right now? LeBron James. That kind of that kind of, the kind of package of compensation that they gave up for? Without him? LeBron. Without saying LeBron. Um, hmm. maybe Luka Doncic, maybe, maybe. Mm. yeah, yeah, okay. maybe him, maybe uh, uh, Devin Booker. I like Devin Booker a lot. That would be nasty, uh, but, but Devin Booker don't control, he's a score, he's a powerhouse scorer, right? Sure, he don't control the game, like he can't change the color of the game, just him by himself. Luka Did you watch that nigga in the bubble? Yeah, I watched him in the bubble, it amounted to any nothing. I mean, but they I were mean, already so out of the Luka, playoffs, Eddie, but they went yeah, A&O. So did Luka, but what I'm saying is... What? No, he didn't. Luka got bounced out eventually. He didn't go 8 0 in the bubble, nigga. Nah, he didn't go 8 0 in the bubble. But what I'm saying is... You need to some. You would need somebody. I hear what you say. I hear what you're saying. Now. I can change the game yeah, automatically. Right. Right. If it's not LeBron, maybe Luka. Maybe. What about you? you think Giannis could get that kind of... No. And I love Giannis. I think I think people in the NBA like they they love him like for odd reasons. I don't think that he's like really all that. I don't. No. I don't. I'm not, I don't buy. I don't see it. I don't see it with him. Strong dunk. Like, yeah, you know? he's just like a wild athletic nigga. Like yeah, he's goofy as fuck. African like, shit, man. You know? <laughs> like he African doesn't shit. he doesn't know how to shoot the ball. Like yeah, if he had a he could go one for eight from the free throw line the other yeah. night. Like this is your king. Like if he had, know, if he had a jumper, he would be dangerous. Like he would have to be like you gotta watch out for him if he had a a, a jumper. He'd be KD. He'll be KD. That stronger KD. He'd be KD times ten, low key. A stronger KD. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and furthermore, KD looked like he lost a step, even though he getting wins. Oh no, nah, he's definitely lost a step. He has. Yeah. <laughs> but that's but, why. I, that's another point to my Alfred. He's gonna. He'll take a back seat. I'm gonna be honest and say, don't go off of y'all's argument of. If you and y'all love to say this on Clubhouse, especially you, Cam, if you ain't got a ring, you ain't shit, right? Your team ain't doing shit because you don't have a that's ring yet, right? right? So right. I'm going to bring it back, and I'm going to say Harden's Alfred for that simple fact right there. He don't got no ring. He, Yo, James Harden is coming into this having to be the third option, nigga. Like, I do I, – you know you understand. Are we not? Why is he acting like he's not, though? I no, feel I, like maybe I'm, I'm overreading it, but it's like the nigga moving like – I mean, how? I mean, we don't, but we don't, we don't know what kind of conversations them niggas right. have. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. they probably did have to talk with him, like, "Yo, bro, like, you know that right. you're not going to be the scoring champ when you come here, right?" Like, and I mean, he's a basketball player. I'm sure he understands that. that but like, is. yeah, when it comes down to it, yeah, I think 
the third option, I think that's going to – that's what's going to cause that team to implode eventually. Yeah, because when – Not who's the first option. It's, it's who's third. Nah, it's when, it's when things are needed. We need to win this game. Right. James Harden's on the to, bench. Yeah, you have to you have to play your role. Yeah, James Harden might not even be on the court, bro, when it's crunch time. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how fat suit Harden does not play defense at all. That's true. He don't play a lick of defense. And then you're going to put him in a, in a backcourt with Kyrie, two mm-hmm. niggas that don't play defense, and two niggas that, that dribble the clock out. Good man. fucking luck, man. I, that's why – that Good it, luck, man. It doesn't make sense. It makes Bradley sense. Bill would have been a better option? Yes. To go to the Nets? Yes, absolutely. Ooh. Thousand percent. Thousand percent better option. Right, because he, I feel like he, he, I feel like he wouldn't. A Cavs Levert and maybe a draft pick. Yeah, I think that's a great. Oh yeah, and you're giving up. You're giving up way less for Bradley. Yeah. Yeah, for for for, for Cavs Levert and 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 a draft option. Yeah, nah, that's a great trade. That would make a lot of sense to me. I thought that was going to happen at one mm-hmm. point. But... Nah, but they don't know what they're doing. They ben- they have no bench, and yeah. the who's all the way on the West Coast. It's not just LeBron and AD, but his bench is loaded up. Loaded, We're waiting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like Kyrie might just go overseas if he don't fuck what with them. What you gonna do? What the fuck you gonna do with them? I feel like Kyrie gonna be like a god overseas. He just go to Beijing or the. No, show. no I think Kyrie is going to. He I, he's just gonna leave the game of basketball. Then he's just gonna turn into the fucking Zen master, and then he'll yeah. return to basketball after twenty years and maybe do a little bit of coaching. He's gonna turn into a Jackson. Nope. Okay, that's it. That's it. I honestly think he'll be a, MB, a WNBA coach before he coached in the NBA. Maybe. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Oh, you start singing. You might. So, like, so you, even with all this, even with this trade, it's still a foregone conclusion, LeBron. Absolutely. And there's no, there's no threat to that whatsoever this year. I mean, he's Goku. That's man. that's he's the threat. threat. Okay. They have PTSD. But from LeBron. Kyrie has PTSD. KD has PTSD. Jimmy Butler got PTSD? Maybe now, maybe. Okay. You probably didn't have Tyler Hero? Oh, Tyler Hero. Tyler got PTSD. Remember they said Remember they sliced that little game? They sliced the shit out of him. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, man. Yeah, he was, he was, he was, he had all his ugly faces. Nah, but you know, nah, but you know American sports though. Once they get them a good, like, great white hope, they run it. Yes, bro. That's, <laughs> that's, that's America, dog. Like, Check this out. Check this out. I'm about, to, I'm about to predict the next two to three finals. Right? Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. We have Lakers in Brooklyn this year. Lakers win, right? Brooklyn is not going to the finals. They are not going to the fucking finals, bro. They are not. It's not happening. Okay. It's not okay. happening, bro. It's a prediction, though. I, I see Philly getting there before before Brooklyn. No. Philly? And Philly's yes. tough. Philly's yes. tough I see either Philly or Boston. That's those are either one of them, too. Right, but see, Why so, so, so nobody I, else in the East. Lake, Lake, is, Lake, Lake is in what's the name? Lake is in Lake is in Lake is in Nets. Nets. All right, cool. And then next year, it's going to be Lakers and Boston because they're going to want to give us a little throwback feeling. And it's going to be younger guys. Hey, not so fast. Over. Not so fast. Not so fast about next year. Not so fast, bro. Hey, hey, you know who's creeping? You know who's, you know who might be like creeping up? Oh. Low key that nobody talking about? Pelicans. Golden State. Oh. I know, I know, it, I know it don't look good for them right now. But they got the young boy Wiseman who looking like a beast. Let me explain and Clay something. Clay coming back next year. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to I'm you. Just okay. I'm let just saying. I'm just saying. Let me let me explain Curry something. Like Curry, you can't y'all. talk to LeBron's number one fan about anything. Go to Curry. Curry, dog. That's all. I'm, I'm not. Saying. If LeBron is in the conference, you're not going. It's LeBron's. He is going. Okay. Go to State went there because they wasn't in the East. Okay. 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 It's that simple. So if LeBron don't get to the finals, it's because he beat himself, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay, got it, got it. Let me ask Anyways, got it, got it. Lakers, so Lakers, Lakers, never lost. Is what Lakers, you're Lakers, whatever. Lakers, Boston, right? And then as his final and seventh ring is gonna be him and his son on some fucking right. gives a fuck team, and we're not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe the fucking Hornets or some dumb shit. No, 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 no. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe the Pelicans. Somebody that has never been. 
Hey, LeVar Ball, hey, LeVar Ball, quiet is kept. He has bribed every sports announcer in the country because they be hyping the shit out of Little Mellow right now, and I don't understand. He's like, nice. I know he's nice. I know he's I know he's nice. I know he's okay, nice. All right, all right. But it's like, bro, there's no need to jump out of your seat when he makes a layup. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing all that. It ain't that deep. When he was in Lithuania, bro, they kicked him out, bro, because he was just he was shooting on the logo. He was making them old heads mad. Like, <laughs> they were like, they had the ball. They were like, nigga, we do bounce passes here. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, what was that about, though? They, like, hijacked Lithuania. Like, there was baller brand everything. Like, they had, like, a whole yeah, arena. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's the watch. Right, that's like, money. Them Lithuanians was probably all about it. We didn't they, we didn't talk about that enough. Like, what was their influence in the Lithuanian the Lithuania government? Like, them niggas was they was on the war shows. We'll we'll see we'll see in twenty years. Wow, that nigga Levar Ball ends up being like the fucking dictator of Lithuania. No, 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 no. Like, well, you went you went to dictatorship. I was about to say like this. Levar Ball's enough. definitely a dictator, bro. Okay, I'm thinking about some young bowler that went to a, a, a camp, and now he in the league and he oh, dominated. Yeah. Oh, okay. They try to get the next Luca. Oh, yeah. oh see that. The they 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 try to plant their flag out there to get the nah, next right, though. new yeah. hotness. No, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, makes yeah. Sense. Industry plant weird sports yeah. shit. Yeah, no bullshit. They try to get Big Baller Brand as like the official like sponsor for the Lithuania Olympic team and shit. I feel that. I respect it. Yeah. Actually, James Harden is going to be fucking Alfred. I can't believe he is. <laughs> hey, KD technically is for the simple fact. I said this earlier. He had a, a lot of people forgot, but he had like a random nickname when he was like, "Call me the servant." I don't know if y'all remember that, but niggas. <laughs> no nigga, like, nah, nigga. And he like he 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 went back to the Slim Reaper shit or whatever. But he was like, "My new name is the servant." I don't know if y'all remember servant? that. Servant. That's not a good. Oh, look, God. it lasted like one game, two games, and then the nigga was like, "All right, no, 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 no." That's kind of wild. But he was the servant. That's a trash superhero name. Yeah, James Harden might come super focused though, because. New York strip clubs suck, so I mean, he's not gonna have too many distractions. <laughs> and New York City's closed right now, but once it opens, oh. nigga, once James Harden gets there, it's gonna be back over. So that's what I'm saying. They got two, they, three years. The they got two to three years to get it done. And as this happens, uh-huh. the Knicks will keep rising and becoming the new powerhouse. <laughs> ah, let's go. Nick's nah. coach. Actually, can I have my moment? You got to see two fucking you, championships. You got it. You got it. You... <laughs> you got to see two fucking championships. Yeah, nigga. With this light skinned superhero shooting from everywhere on the fucking court. Two <laughs> light skinned superheroes shooting from wherever the fuck they want to go. Oh, yo, give me the ball right here. I'm, I'm half court. Bang. Watch. Nick's going to get Kate Cunningham, Obi Toppin, Julius Randle. I think yeah. he is, bro, but. Nah, he gonna be, he gonna be out of there soon, but yeah, but let, nah, but just wait, man, just wait. We'll become a good team again. We about to get the we about to get the next like uh, transcendent guard in the NBA. Think I'm like, oh my god, he's changing the way basketball is played forever. Yeah, we are gonna get that it's next. Be one of those things. That's right. Porzingis, right? What the fuck happened with that? Uh, Porzingis was uh, 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 a legend not, rapist, so we had to get him up out of there. It was James Dolan. It was Carmelo. It was a lot of. A lot of other factors. A lot of Jeremy yeah. Lin PTSD too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. The Lin sanity. God damn. That was a moment. That was a real that moment. Was a moment. You wasn't. You ain't had no Lin sanity. You can. Did I have Lin sanity? <laughs> <laughs> Go get your Jeremy Lin jersey right now. I nigga. don't have. A, I don't have I a jersey. I know. I don't have a jersey. But rest in peace, Kobe. Facts. Facts. Hit nigga, it gave me the work. Give the work. <laughs> Right down in the wire. I hey, mean, oh, I man, mean, man. I mean, Kobe knew that he was fooled eventually. Not eventually. Kobe knew that he was fooled. But that one little moment. That's all you need. That one little weekend in February. Jeremy Lin's forever a legend in the NBA. And he got a and he got a ring. With who? In Toronto. Yeah. He was on that team. Hey, yeah, he was on that team. That was the most random. Kawhi is a legend for that. He was a no, he's not. No, he's not. I mean, we're starting to see that he's not that legendary. <laughs> he's yeah. not. Wait, is Kawhi, is Kawhi trash or is he just having? He's he's good. He's having a bad. Is he not? Is he not who we thought he was? <laughs> he never was. He was coached uh, by Popovich. Okay. His system was good. Yeah, yeah. Then he was hot, but he was already going to a Toronto team that was pretty good. 
Dirty. Yeah, they were pretty Wasn't good. Wasn't the league like in disarray at that point, too? Like, then he catch the league at a good time. Type yeah, shit. LeBron didn't play for the year. The yeah. What's name? The Golden State Warriors. They were hurt. Yeah. The, uh, Draymond Green was like, nigga, we won without you. KD, fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah, you can't do that with a sensitive KD. Yeah. I mean, but he caught the league at a good time. I respect that. That's why I like Kyrie. I mean, um, Kawhi for that. Like, he 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 did it what he had to do when everybody was on some other shit. Too bad he got to play with Paul George now. He's never gonna get another ring. He's not even gonna sniff a ring. <laughs> oh yeah, nah. It, that's but, it's LeBron over. might LeBron might let him look at it when they're at the <laughs> <laughs> check this out. <laughs> all right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I guess we'll agree to disagree about who's Batman, who's Robin, and who's Alfred. Yeah. Bad. I guess I don't think any of those niggas is Batman. Yeah, oh, you know that's Batman? the funny part about it. Everyone says KD's Batman, but it's like, dude, nah, man. Batman is uh Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Literally. <laughs> He's gonna coach his way to coach of the year. Wow. <laughs> Yo, you know what's so funny? I can't believe that we're actually like sitting here talking like that when the niggas have been struggling, bro. My how we forget. Oh, oh. I don't really think it's. I don't really think it's all that locked in stone that they're gonna be the top seed in the East and that they're gonna go to the finals this year, bro. If you ask me, I think they're looking more like a six seven, if they're at best, at best. All right, that's kind of drastic. At <laughs> best, nigga. That's kind of drastic. Maybe three. Like I'd have got you to three. Yeah, no. I want to say three, four. Yeah, I think four. I think four would be the highest they get. Six seed, seven seed. But they're, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, man, that, that matchup that they got together is not going to be, it's not going to yield the results that we think it will. I just don't believe it. Uh, I, could be, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. And if I am, I'll say it in a public platform that I was totally fucking wrong. But until it happens, I mean, James yeah. Harden's still fat. <laughs> and you said it yourself, KD lost this step. He has. And, Ky- and Kyrie's somewhere doing yoga. <laughs> trying to figure out social justice reform. So them niggas uh, ain't, I don't know really how that team looking, bro. Hey, bro. Uh, it's true. Uh, check this out. I'm not, I got to step out a little bit early. Oh, no, yeah, we about to wrap it up anyway, man. We, we over an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Orion, man, yo, big ups again, man. Thank you very much for taking the time, man. Appreciate it, man. Um, Listen, anytime, bro. Right. Yo, let, 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 niggas, let niggas know where they can find you if you wish to be found, man. Is your is your is your social mediums just how it's spelled? Oh Ryan. Um. Well, my social media is all uh, it's O De La Soul. So it's O underscore D E L A S O U L. I'm that's on all the main social media platforms. But on all streaming platforms, it's Orion, like the constellation O R I O N. Check me out. You'll find something that you like. You know what I mean? And we got more vibes coming up. Project on the way. Second quarter of the year. Uh, I got a single dropping probably within the next two, three weeks. I want to get that ball rolling, man. You know, I got to turn it up for the area. You know what I'm saying? This has been episode 34 of BC Songs Podcast, brought to you by Means. Everybody go to meanstm.com. That's meanstm.com. Go get you some cool shit like what I got on right here. You feel me? Um, if you see me, if you see me out and about not wearing a mask, um, no, I didn't get the vaccine. I'm just uh, expressing myself like my uh, mayonnaise brethren do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just expressing my constitutional freedoms to be outside and breathe fresh air. That'll kill you. <laughs> it's episode 34 of Vichy Sox Podcast. Yeah, Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. <laughs>